What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Brian with Mendez Mobile Detail. I appreciate y'all for watching this video here, man. Make sure you guys like this video, comment down below questions, concerns, video ideas, whatever you want to comment, do so down below in the comment section because that's what it's there for. So, without further ado, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wash. Well, I'm not, I'm probably not gonna wash it. Today's actually Friday and it's actually a slow day for us because it's raining and the weather is just terrible outside. So I'm going to go ahead and take the time to go ahead and organize and clean up my mobile van. And I'm going to just take you guys with me along in the process. I'm going to also go ahead and try to fill up some products, some tools and clean out, you know, just get a reset on our van so we can have a fresh start to the weekend because we are pretty busy this coming week and weekend. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the mess that we have, which you probably saw in the last video. But this is the video where we're going to clean that all up. So stay tuned, like the video, all the links to the products and tools will be linked down below. So check them out and let's get started with the video. Let's go. I have the outside right here. Look at this, you guys, this is just nasty, dirty. You know, we gotta clean this up. This is no good. So we're actually gonna focus on the inside though. We're just do the outside later on today or later in the week or whatever. But right now you guys are seeing the back of where everything happens right this is where the magic goes down this is where we grab our products this is where we grab our tools every time we're detailing we come to this area 99 percent of the time right so we're going to focus on this area first right here i always carry my little gas uh tank here which is empty so we're just going to remove this here right and i do have products and stuff over here that i keep like in storage right and i have to organize this and fill up these gallons and I've been trying to find some lids here that'll fit to be able to easily pour my chemicals, but I haven't found anything that fits yet. So that's to come soon. Now, over here, this right here is like very easy to clean. So all I'm gonna simply do is just spray that down and stuff like that once we get to that part. But for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of these bottles, remove that out the way kind of just take out all these towels and stuff remove this up here because a lot of dust has built up right there and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and clean this up you guys and if you want to know who actually built this here is the person that built the frame and set up for me Rada's details big shout out to him now we're gonna go ahead and clean this up you guys so let's go ahead and start taking everything out so that way it looks a lot more clean and we can actually start spraying down stuff and make a difference on this back here. Took out all the spray bottles, everything that was up here is removed and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove these brushes from here and I'm gonna place them right here from now where I keep some of my other brushes as well reason why i want to remove this is because this is dirty you gotta see all that pollen and stuff like that is getting on the van because when we detail we actually do keep these doors open so a lot of dirt and debris does fly in there so i'm gonna go ahead and actually unplug this as well which this is my pressure washer we have a lot of dust in there look at how disgusting that is man i didn't even see that it's too too bad too terrible we need to clean that up it's just it's not looking too good all right so we already finished cleaning out not cleaning but removing stuff out the back we're gonna take out this small little table that i have here as well remove that because i like to use this for like smaller carpets i'll open that so i don't have to throw stuff on the floor or floor mats and stuff like that i also keep a separate and spare hose to be able to fill up whenever you know need be so we have that there to also go ahead and remove my steamer right here. So I'm actually go ahead and clean out this vacuum. So I'm gonna remove it. And it's very simple. We have this hose right there that we can easily just remove. And ideally this, this uh, little jumper cords would be wrapped around like right here to hold it in place. But we already removed it. So I'm gonna just take out this vacuum. That all that right there looks disgusting. Just nastiness so we need to make sure that we clean that out before i go to the other side i want to talk about these right here so these right here are plugs right and these plugs are connected to my remote controller so normally you would just plug this into your like outlet but the way that we had it built was we had this right here put on 
to be able to plug into here so that way we can control and turn this on and off with our remote switch and as you guys can see we have one two three right so we have three right here and one is for the vacuum one is for the compressor and one is for our water tank so we're gonna go ahead and remove these as well because i want to make sure everything is nice and clean in here i don't want to leave it dirty man this is this just needs a very deep clean so we're just gonna go ahead and do it man you know i don't want to skip out or anything here i can't even take this off but there we go remember i was telling y'all that the remote this is the remote right here and this right here is what turns our stuff on and off we have some tape around it because this battery sometimes comes off loose sometimes we're aware you know sometimes we don't i prefer to just leave it here and this is like the turn on the vacuum the compressor and stuff like that which is also going to be linked down below for you guys to check out so we come around this side we have our pressure washer here which has the hose and the other hose right here which connects to the reel so this pumps water into it this connects to our pressure washer reel and you know essentially that's what we use to blow and spray water out of so i'm gonna move this real quick i kind of need both hands so give me one second important to note that everything here is also very like easy to remove and reinstall so in case something does go bad it's easy to take it out and replace it which we we have with the compressor and the pressure washer and actually the vacuum so that's very also something that's very important that Rob's detail did for us he put everything on quick disconnect so we can easily just pop it off put the new one and keep it moving you know which is very important for efficiency so We've removed our pressure washer out the way. Oh, this thing is dusty. Wow, look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> look at this, you guys. This is what we are working with right here. This is very, very dirty. So, like I said, I feel embarrassed, but I'm going to keep it real with you guys. This is how it looks. We're going to clean this up and make it look a lot better. It's not, it hasn't always been like this. It just got like this in the previous months. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my vacuum, vacuum this up real quick, and then we'll go ahead and spray and, and wipe it down and clean it and stuff like that. So we just went ahead and vacuumed everything up. I'm going to go ahead and spray some super clean on here just to degrease and clean this up a bit. You guys are going to see it's going to look black again. <laughs> it's going to look nice and clean. So we'll go ahead and just spray some super clean. Let it sit for a little bit as we do some other stuff around the van as well. And spray the wall. So you remember how I told you guys this is very dirty here. We're going to now come around here with our vacuum and vacuum all this up here. Just vacuum that up. I'm going to go ahead and spray the same thing. Super clean right here. And everything is unplugged. So we don't have to worry about too much. But we'll just spray our super clean right here. Just let it sit and dwell for a bit. Perfect. There we go. So you guys are gonna see, this towel is gonna be so dirty. Look at that, super dirty. So we're looking 10 times better already right there. So like I said, I'm gonna come back around with the air compressor and get a better clean.
first. So we did wipe down our, I was about to say compressor. So we did wipe down our pressure washer. So it's looking nice and clean again. A lot of dust and stuff like that. So this is my electric pressure washer, you guys. I bought this at Home Depot. You can find it at Home Depot. I highly recommend getting an electric uh, pressure washer over a gas powered, just because it's more efficient and it gives you the you know amount of power that you actually need. You know, hopefully in the future we will upgrade to a Krenzel pressure washer, Krenzler, whatever you call it. But for now, we're using this here. So boom, we have that already there connected. Now we have this little like bungee cord thing here. And I'm gonna connect those to these hooks that I showed you guys earlier. Let me grab my camera. So what I did was connect those to these hooks right here, and this will hold our pressure washer into place. That way it doesn't move around or anything like that while we're driving. So safety first. The cable that's connected to the pressure washer actually goes connected back to that box right there. So we'll just place it right there for now until we get over there. And then we do have like a power strip here as well, which we use to like connect to our batteries and you know, charge anything that we need to charge, we'll connect it to this power strip there. All right, you guys, so we actually just wiped down the compressor and now we're gonna go ahead and put it back into the van here. So I'm gonna wrap this cable around this little bar here that it has just to shorten up the cable a bit. And we'll be able to connect this to one of our remotes right here. So I went ahead and placed the vacuum after I wiped it down. Now these are also strapped down, just like the pressure washer over there. So we have those hooks in there. Can't really see it, but it's in there. And then we have this side. So we connected it, now it's not gonna move. And we have the cable right here, which we're gonna plug into our remote controller output right there. So now we have all three things plugged in. We have the water, pressure washer, um, the compressor and vacuum plugged in. That was four, but we have all that plugged in. The only thing here missing is our extension cord reel, which is placed right here. As you guys can see, this is our extension cord reel and the cable for that is actually right here. So I'm gonna run that wire through there and then we'll be able to connect it right there. All right, YouTube, so we just cleaned this top section here. Now we're gonna just focus on cleaning this here, which is usually where we keep our steamer and a few other things that we usually carry. So I'm gonna just spray some super clean and just wipe it down to make it look nice and neat. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. This is paint strip. So this is actually the color of the metal that this was before it got painted into black. You guys can see it's like stripping off right there, just wear and tear over time. I'm not sure if I'll repaint it um, right this moment or anytime soon, just because, you know, it's, it's just wear and tear, you guys. Like, you know, it's taking stuff in, taking stuff out. It happens, so you can't do too much about it. So we're going to go ahead and place our steamer back in here and our bags and stuff that we usually keep. And I also had an idea. What if I, like, put some, like, racetracks and stuff like that here? You know, those, like, four like four racetracks here? That'll be pretty nice, honestly. It'll give it, like, a nice little look. It ain't even back here. But that's besides the point. We're going to just go ahead and just continue putting everything back in here now. And then we'll move down here to our generator area and then just kind of like start working up here and then work to the other side. So for the actual generator itself, I'm gonna go ahead and unclip this here because this is what's holding this down. So we're gonna just loosen this up. All right, perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove or move the generator 
out of the slider. Let's make sure we have enough space here. Okay, so we just wiped everything down. This is what it's looking like right now. And I know you guys are probably thinking like, holy smack, you know, this stuff gets really dirty. And yes, it does get extremely dirty, especially when you're, you know, busy, doing a lot of cars, doing a lot of details, and you just stay busy, you know, you don't have time to do this. So now that it's raining, right, it's raining out there, we're taking advantage of our time and making sure we are, you know, ready for the rest of the week, the rest of the months, the rest of the weeks that are upcoming. So, yeah. And if you guys are and if you guys are somehow you know not able to do as many cars as you like or are struggling to get clientele and stuff like that I highly recommend you guys check out the link down below my detailed course will show you step by step how i did it and how you can do it too we have made over one hundred fifty thousand dollars in revenue last year and this year is only going to triple and double because we're going to double down on our website seo which will be all in the course you guys so make sure you guys check out the links down below and yeah we'll continue cleaning hopefully this video is so far entertaining if it's not click off it check out my other videos that i do have and yeah so we'll continue cleaning here so we have done this section here now we're gonna go ahead and do that small little spot over there which is where we keep our buckets and stuff like that and then we'll move over to this generator here taking out the oil and just wiping it down and stuff like that All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick oil change on my Predator 3500 here, you guys. And it's very simple. We have this oil fill access door here, which I might need a flathead. So let me go get a flathead here. And it's gonna give us access to what we need to see for us to change the oil. So we have this hose right here, this black hose with the yellow tip right there. You guys can see that's what the oil is going to come out from we have a small jug here which we're just going to use to fill up and if you guys look carefully and closely you can actually see that orange thing here which is where we'll fill our oil back up from so this is where we're going to take the oil out from and you might have to tilt it so i might need to use all of my strength here so we will see oh lord jesus so we're just gonna go ahead and dump that oil out. All right, so we have officially finished dumping out the oil and this thing is almost filled all the way to the half point, but we wanna unty it until it starts dripping like it is right here. So you guys can see it's like showing signs of drip. And I actually did lean this over so I couldn't record that, but I did lean it over. And now I'm gonna just put the cap back on there and then fill it up with some fresh oil. So the oil that we will be using is this one right here. It is 10W30, mobile one. So we're gonna go ahead and put the funnel in there. And we're going to start to pour our oil. Pour it in at like an angle. You guys will see what I'm talking about when you start filling up. All right, now we have finished changing the oil. We cleaned up around there and stuff. So now we're just gonna place our cap back in here. Right there. And we're gonna go ahead and twist that to lock it. Perfect. All right, so now it's locked into place. 
Now we'll slide it back into the slide out and then perfect. And I did leave it running for like five minutes, you guys. So I highly recommend if you change the oil, just let it run for a few minutes, just like you would on a car. Guys, so you see that power strip that I was mentioning earlier, it's right there. So we're actually gonna plug in our power um, charging stations right here. So we have the battery for our uh, cordless power, um, what's you call it, um, polisher. So we have the cordless polisher battery charger here. And then we're gonna add our headlight restoration uh, drill, which is this one right here. We have the battery charger for that. We're gonna also put it right there. And then we have our drill, this drill right here. We're gonna have the power battery charger for these as well. Put right there for us. So power strip is very, very important because without that, we won't be able to recharge and stuff like that on the job site. And I just leave that stuff plugged in. So we just gotta put the battery and we just keep pushing all right you guys so we just cleaned up the area right here and look how clean it's looking like it's looking very nice so far so we used our toner door here to get all this stuff off as well as some super clean so it looks a lot better it's looking nice and clean i'm not going for perfection you guys this is a work van like i keep saying like i keep saying in the video but we are trying to make it look nice and clean again. So we clean up all these walls on the side and even right there, like the little trunk jam. So it's looking nice and clean again. Now we're going to go ahead and, you know, I clean up the vacuum and stuff like the rack and mural. So we're just going to go ahead and pull this thingy back in there. You guys, so we are all done here. We loaded up our products and stuff. We still got to fill up some bottles. But I'm going to go ahead and take a break and go eat real quick because I'm hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. We put towels in there. We put the brushes right there. Everything is nice and clean. Now we'll work our way over to this side, which is also clean here. Nicely organized. Everything is strapped down. And we are good to hit the road now, you guys. Now we're going to go over here to this side over here. I'm sorry about the loud noises raining out there. So right here we have the generator side where the hose also is and stuff like that. We have the steamer, which we plugged in. I plugged it in because I might shampoo my seats real quick once I'm done eating. But we had this plugged in, that plugged in, got this there. So yeah, we pretty much finished the interior setup portion. We still have a lot of trash. I put all the trash that I had all right here so i'm gonna go dump it out and then when i come back i'll probably start cleaning and detailing this portion here so yeah all right so i'm gonna end the video here you guys so if you like the video make sure you guys like the video give it a thumbs up comment down below any questions or video ideas i know the van was really dirty you guys and honestly it's kind of embarrassing to show it like that but you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do so i took everything out cleaned it up now it's nice and clean again and I'm actually glad that I did that because it was just due, you know, for a good deep clean. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Like I said, I am going to end the video here. Peace out, you guys. Hustle never settle. Keep moving forward. Mendez Mobile Detailing out.